Good morning students. Myself Jyoti Nahar from Shiv Jyoti Educational Group Kota and I'll be taking class 5 science and the chapter that we are going to do today is chapter number 8 skeletal system. So students start, pick up your books and open to page number 69 and we'll start with the chapter explanation. Okay, we are going to do the chapter 8 skeletal system. Now you all know that our body it is made up of different organs like your stomach, liver, lungs, kidneys all these are organs which are present in our body and these organs they collectively form an organ system like your digestive system it is made up of different organs all the organs like your mouth the small intestine stomach all these organs they combine together to form the digestive system now here in this chapter we are going to discuss skeletal system skeletal system is a framework of bones it is a framework of bones which gives shape and support to our body and in all there are 206 bones of different shapes and sizes in our body usually a normal child it has 350 bones but as the child grows these bones they diffuse together and they total make up the, the total bones in an adult body they are 206 and the different parts of the human skeletal are skull, backbone, rib cage, two pairs of limbs and girdle bones. We are going to discuss these one by one here and I am going to show it to you on the skeletal system too. First we are going to take up the skull. As you can see here the skull it is made up of 22 bones. These bones which make up the flat bones, these flat bones they are 8 in number and they are interlocked together but they are immovable bones. They do not move. Here in the face region you have 14 facial bones and out of these 14 facial bones only this lower jaw bone is movable here. This bone lower jaw bone helps us to speak to eat. The other rest of the bones they are all immovable. Here you can also see we have sockets for the eyes and nose in the skull. So this was about the skull. Next topic that we have here is backbone, backbone or the vertebral column you call it. The next part of the skeletal system is backbone. The skull it is attached to the backbone and this backbone is also called the vertebral column. As you can see here this is the backbone and this is also called as the vertebral column and this vertebral column is made up of 33 small bones which are called vertebrae and here students now the third topic that we have here is rib cage rib cage is a cage of bones it is made up of curved bones which are attached to a small bone in the front and this small bone in the front is called the sternum and at the back they curve and they are attached to the vertebral column at the back and these ribs they are 12 pairs of ribs and two pairs of ribs are at not attached to the sternum in front and these two pairs of ribs are called the floating ribs. The two pairs, last two pairs of ribs are not attached to the sternum and are called the floating ribs and the rib cage it protects the heart and lungs. The skull it protects the brain as the rib cage it protects the delicate organs which are present inside like your heart, your lungs and the vertebral column it protects the 
spinal cord majorly means the main function of the skeletal system is to protect the delicate and soft organs which are present inside our body so the skull protects the brain the ribcage protects the heart and lungs and the liver and the vertebral column it protects the spinal cord the third topic the next topic here we have the limbs we have two pairs of limbs that is the fore limbs and the hind limbs the fore limbs it consists of a bone fore limbs means our hands and hind limbs that make up our legs the fore limbs have one bone which is attached to the collar bone means the shoulder girdle which is attached to the vertebral column these four limbs they are attached to the backbone by the shoulder girdles these are the shoulder girdles as you can see and these shoulder girdles attach our four limbs to the backbone similarly we have the hind limbs one bone and the uh, lower the we have two bones and the upper bone this is the most uh, that is the femur bone and it is the longest bone of our body this femur bone is the longest bone of our body and it is attached to the backbone again by the hip girdles these are the joints which attach the uh, hind limbs to the vertebral column so the hind limbs are attached to the vertebral column by the hip girdles and the fore limbs are attached to the vertebral column by the shoulder girdles so here again we have these uh, are the thigh bones this thigh bone is the longest bone and this is a very important topic you can underline students here you have on page number 71 that is the thigh bone or the femur is the longest bone of our body and so these hands wrist and feet they to have many bones as you can see the maximum number of bones they are present in our hands and feet only so these make up our limbs coming to our next topic that is functions of skeletal system now we are going to see what is the function of a skeletal system in our body what is the work of skeletal system the first function that is it gives shape and support to our body without the bones our body will be just like a jelly and no shape would be given to it so the skeletal system gives shape and support to our body the second uh, important function is it protects many delicate internal organs like your heart lungs and brain as i explained you just now that the skull it protects the brain the rib cage is protecting the heart and lungs so the most important function of the skeletal system is to protect the delicate internal organs the third one some bones they are hollow from inside and they are filled with a soft matter which is called the bone marrow and our blood cells the uh, blood cells which are made in our body they are all made in the bone marrow next is it helps in the movement of different body parts as it is made up of bones which comprise of limbs and so they help in movement of different body parts like i am able to lift up my hand with the help of bones so this movement is possible just because of bones next to this we have a small exercise children here you can fill it with me it is write t for true and f for false statements the skeletal system is a framework of 306 bones this statement is false because 306 bones are present in a child an adult have they have 200 six bones the uh, children they have 350 bones but an adult body it has 206 bones so this statement is false only the upper jaw bone is movable in the skull no this statement is again false because the lower jaw bone is 
movable only this lower jaw bone which helps us to eat to talk it is the movable bone in the skull third one the backbone consists of 33 vertebrae yes the backbone it has 33 small bones which are called vertebrae so this statement is true fourth one there are 12 pairs of ribs in the rib cage again this statement is true because in the rib cage we have 12 pairs of ribs which are attached to the front bone that is sternum and at the back they are attached to the backbone the last one here is femur is the shortest bone in the human body no students this is a false statement because femur is the longest bone of our body so this was the exercise that you need to complete according to the state to, to the true and false given here next topic that is joints now what is a joint a joint is a place where two bones meet you can see the joints here we have the joints as the shoulder and the shoulder girdles at the hip girdles we have joints and at these joints the bones they are attached by ligaments now what are these ligaments these ligaments are strong and flexible bands of tissues which connect the bones at the joints and all these joints in our body they are movable except the joints which are present in the skull the joints in the skull they are immovable and the rest of the joints they are movable and we have four types of movable joints in our body i am going to explain it to you through uh, extra marks let us see see we are able to walk we are able to do the different activities with the help of bones and joints which connect the bones and in all in the human body these bones they are attached by strong fibers called ligaments now you have these ligaments connect the bones at different joints as you can see here you have cartilage now what is this cartilage this cartilage protects our body this cartilage it is present where the joints are there and it protects our body from protects the joints from bones from rubbing against each other means cartilage is a soft Uh, substance which prevents our bones from rubbing against each other and thus they are preventing the bones now we have two types of joints as i told you there are immovable joints and movable joints the immovable joints are present in the skull region like right? all the joints of the skull part they are immovable only the lower jaw bone is movable in the skull rest they are movable joints the next part is our movable joints movable joints they allow free movement of our bones i can lift up my hand the legs they are moving due to movable joints now we have four types of movable joints that is ball and socket joint hinge joint pivot joint and gliding or sliding joint ball and socket joint the first one ball and socket joint it is these joints they allow movement maximum movement is allowed in this type as you can see it allows circular movement of bones we can move up and down forward and backward all these this type of joint ball and socket joint is present in our shoulder girdles and hip girdles second one is hinge joint these joints they allow movement in one direction they are like the 
hinges of our door they allow only the movement in forward and backward direction as you can see it is present in the elbows in our knees they allow movement only in one direction this type of joint is present in our hinges we this movement is allowed only in one direction as you can see i can move my hand up and down only it is present in our fingers elbows and ankles next we have as you can see hinge joint it, it allows movement only in one direction it is present in our fingers the, these fingers they bend in only one direction that is fixed up uh, forward and movement backward next is our pivot joint and this joint allows rotational movement of the head that is we can move our head pivot joint is present where the skull meets the vertebral column and this joint allows movement in 180 degrees direction that is we can move it backward and forward upward and downward here as you can see this type of pivot joint it is present between the skull and the top vertebrae of the vertebral column in this portion next is gliding or sliding joint these joints they allow the gliding movement of our bones as you can see here it is present in our wrist ankles and the between the vertebrae of the backbone and these joints they allow us to bend to twist and to turn so in all we have done four types of joints that is ball and socket joint pivot joint hinge joint and gliding joint these are the four types of joints that are present in a human skeleton coming back to our topic these four types of joints we have done through extra marks now we'll come to the topic muscles now muscles in our body body they hold the bones together and help in the movement of different parts of our body they contract and relax to produce movement any uh, when we are doing any movement these muscles they contract or relax we have two types of muscles in our body that is biceps and triceps we'll do it later on how the muscles work first of all let us do the types of muscles now these muscles they are attached to the bones by strong fibers called tendons what are these tendons they are strong fibers which attach the muscles to the bones and in we have three types of muscles in our body that is voluntary muscles involuntary muscles and cardiac muscles first we'll discuss about voluntary muscles voluntary muscles are under our control they are under our control they work according to our wish like the uh, muscles which are present in our arms with in our legs in our fingers they move with according to our need they move according if they are in our control means so these voluntary muscles are also called as skeletal muscles and second one is involuntary muscles these muscles are not under our control they work on their own like the muscles of our like these muscles they are the these muscles they control our circulation of blood breathing and movement of the food in our elementary canal when we eat the food the digestive system the digestive system it starts working automatically so these muscles they are not under our control they work on their own and we call them as smooth muscles they are also called as smooth muscles again we have an internal question students the third internal question so these muscles are also called as smooth muscles and involuntary muscles they are under the control of brain and spinal cord the third type of muscles that we have here is 
cardiac muscles now children these muscles cardiac muscles they are the muscles which are present in our heart and they are again involuntary in action because they do not work according to our wish they keep on working by themselves the muscles of the heart they work all the time and they are involuntary in action and are called as cardiac muscles now we are going to see how the muscles work now these muscles as you can see in the picture we have two types of muscles the biceps and the triceps these muscles they have the ability to contract and relax contracts when they contract they shorten and become bigger in size whereas when they relax like as you can see in the triceps when they relax they come to their original size so whenever we are pulling our arms or whenever we are doing any work like when i pull up my arm these biceps they contract and the triceps they relax again if i stretch the arm you can see that the biceps they relax and the triceps they contract in other words we can say that the biceps and triceps they work together to pull up in doing our work whenever do we are doing any work these biceps and triceps they work in pairs and they help in the movement of our body so this is how the muscles work when we are stretching or when we are bending our arms after this children we have a small exercise that is let's recall you have to fill in the blanks with the correct words two words are given in the uh, uh, yeah, two words again uh, are given with among these two words one is wrong and the other one is correct in the bracket you have two words so you have to pick the correct word and fill it in the blank first one is a dash is a place where two bones meet where two bones meet we have a joint there second one there are dash types of movable joints just now we have discussed that there are four types of movable joints and what are these four types of movable joints ball and socket pivot joint hinge joint and gliding joint these are the four types of movable joints now dash joint allows maximum movement which joint allows the maximum movement that is ball and socket joint this ball and socket joint allows the maximum movement fourth one is ear and nose are made of dash we have cartilages which are present in our ears and nose bones are very less very few are there in and we, these ears and nose they are made up of cartilage now what are cartilage cartilage is that a tough and elastic substance which uh, the joints most of our joints they are covered with cartilage these are the soft and elastic substances which may cover up our joints muscles are attached to the bones by strong fibers called tendons muscles and bones they are attached together by tendons so you need to write tendons here in the blank now children our next topic is keeping bones and muscles healthy how you can keep your bones and muscles healthy the first point here is to keep our bones strong we should have food that is rich in calcium like you can have bananas milk all these are rich sources of calcium and as we have studied in our second chapter about food components that calcium it is helpful to make our bones and teeth strong so to keep our bones strong we should have food that is rich in calcium second point here always sit straight and walk erect to keep the backbone healthy students while you are sitting while you are walking always keep the backbone erect it will help to keep the backbone healthy now a third point 
here exercise regularly regular exercise will keep your bones and muscles strong they will help to keep bones and muscles flexible and playing outdoor games especially outdoor games for you people you children you need to have outdoor games which will make your bones and muscles strong so students our first question internal question that is how many vertebrae are there in the vertebral column in the vertebral column we have 33 small bones which are called the vertebrae so the answer for this question is 33 33 vertebrae are there in the vertebral column next question we have now our students how many pairs of ribs are present in the rib cage both these questions question number one and question number two you have to write on page number 70 first question will come on the topic backbone and the second question will come on the topic rib cage second question is how many pairs of ribs are present in the rib cage students just now we have discussed that there are 12 pairs of ribs in the rib cage how many pairs of ribs are there 12 pairs of ribs are present in the rib cage so this is the answer to the second internal question so students our next internal question is on page number 73 you have to write it just on top of the topic muscles involuntary muscles and the question is what is the other name of involuntary muscles and the answer is smooth muscles because involuntary muscles they are also called as smooth muscles involuntary muscles they work on their own and so they are also called as smooth muscles so students you need to write the internal questions according to the page numbers that i have mentioned in your book so this was about the chapter students uh, i hope you have understood the video also i hope you will uh, you have written the internal questions which i have asked you to mark in between thank you students